removing a very heavy kettlebell, I recommend the waddle approach. It helps to protect your back and you use momentum to carry the heavy bell. Try it out. Kettlebell swings. With a heavy bell, you're definitely going to want to make sure that you start with the bell on the ground, hike it back with enough force, make sure you're using your glutes and hamstrings to pop the weight up, and keep your core tight, secure with your lats. This is a 1.5 stance deadlift. I've also heard it called a B stance deadlift. What's nice about this is it serves as a good intermediate step between a regular deadlift and a single leg deadlift. In doing this, you're able to help balance out any imbalances that you might have between your right and left legs. See there how I moved my foot to find the position. Something else to keep in mind when doing deadlifts is that you want a neutral neck. See there that I made the adjustment because I felt that my neck was looking too far up or that my head was too far up rather. And then make sure that you keep your core engaged and lats engaged. Kettlebell deadlift. Make sure that you have a neutral neck while you're doing this. Keep your lats engaged and core engaged. Also make sure to set the bell between the arches of your feet. You should only be using your glutes and hamstrings to lift the bell. This is a sumo squat. As you can see, I'm a bit lopsided because my grass is lopsided. What can I say? But go ahead and find a position that feels good for you that's slightly outside of hips width, and you can turn the toes out. Make sure to keep the core engaged. Mm -hmm. 